This is question 35. College Board's given us a linear equation, and they say this has infinitely many solutions, which for linear equations, as with systems of linear equations, if there's infinitely many solutions, then the left side and the right side will have the same slope. For no solution, left side and right side also have no slope. The difference is if there's infinitely many solutions, the left and right also have the same y-intercept. With systems of equations, a system with no solutions, both equations will have the same slope, and a system with infinitely many solutions, they'll have the same slope and the same y-intercept. So what I know here is when I distribute, I get ax plus ab equals 4x plus 10. Since the slopes are the same, to have infinitely many solutions or no solutions, I know a equals 4. So this is 4x plus 4b equals 4x plus 10. If there's infinitely many solutions, this is true for all x, which means 4b equals 10. Same intercept, b equals 10 over 4 is 5 over 2, or 2.5. College Board normally asks either no solutions or infinitely many solutions. This particular test, they did both just to double your fun, as long as you remember to set the slopes equal and that infinitely many solutions, the intercepts are also equal, these are not hard and it gives you a chance to get another one right without having to figure out what it is that they're asking. So remember, infinitely many solutions, same slope and same, in same intercept. If it had said no solutions, all you would know is same slope and so we only have the A value. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.